We're about to convert some numbers from rectangular form to polar form. And the first one is 1 eighth. And I'm actually going to hold off on that one and do that one later. We're going to start with this 2 plus 2i. So we're going to begin by graphing it. The first number is the horizontal or the x. The second number is the imaginary or the y. So this is over 2 to the right, up 2. And our number will be right here. Now, we're supposed to turn this into a radius and an angle. So let's go ahead and draw the uh, line to the origin and the angle. So first of, all, first of all, let's think about this theta. This angle is halfway between the x-axis and the y-axis. The y-axis is 90, so this angle has to be half of 90 or 45 degrees. And if we're using radian measure, that'll be pi over 4. Alright, so that is our angle right here. And I think we need to answer in uh, radian measure, so we're going to go with a pi over 4. Uh, now when I do uncover these answers, you're going to see that they are decimal answers, and that's okay. We're going to go to our calculator, and we're going to type in pi over 4. Pi divided by 4, enter, and you see that 0.785. And right here, 0.785. All right, so that's just fine. I'm not going to convert the other ones. I'll just leave them with the pi notation. All right. Oh, we did not get the radius. So how do we get the radius? It's the square root of x squared plus y squared. So for us, it was positive 2, positive 2. 2 for the x, 2 for the y. Square them both, add them together. 4 and 4 is 8. We have square root 8. Uh, I don't think you could enter uh, square roots here, but you can always go and just type in square root 8 to the calculator, 2.82. Okay, let's go ahead and get the next part, which is part C. So this one is minus 7 plus 7i. Seven so we're going to go left 7. The first is the horizontal. Negative is left 7. So I'm going to go left 7. You might be thinking, well, hey, that doesn't look like 7. Well, it's as far out as you want to go. If I went 17 actual marks on this grid, my graph would be huge. So that's unreasonable with this graph paper. If you have smaller graph paper, you can absolutely be accurate. Uh, but what I am going to be accurate with, when I go up 7, it needs to be this distance right here. It needs to be the same distance as I went over. And I just, I basically went halfway between those two marks. So it would be one and a half boxes. So I went one and a half boxes up. Okay. Our point is right here. We can go ahead and get the radius now. Now, because I'm going to square the negative seven, it's going to be a positive 49. So I just usually exclude writing the negative value here. So 49 plus 49, 98 square root. Okay, so that takes care of the radius. Let's think about the angle. Let's complete the line segment to the origin. And now we're looking at the angle. Now this angle is exactly halfway between the negative x and the positive y axis. So if we go all the way down to here, we'd have pi or pi over 4 pi over 4. So we want to go 3 pi over 4s. And that's our theta value. So again, to type this in, you're going to need to turn this into a actually no, you can leave it as 3 pi over 4 when you answer this question. All right, so we're going to do our last one now, which is 1 eighth. Now this one's a little different. There is no imaginary part. So before we had a real number and plus an imaginary number. Here we only have the first part. There's no imaginary. However, 
we can write plus some i's, and how many i's would be zero. Now we go to graph this. I'm going to go to the right one eighth, which is far right as I want to go, uh, and I'm going this far. Now, the imaginary part, well, that's zero, so we're not going up or down anywhere. So our point is right there on the x-axis. What's our radius? Well, we could use the formula. 1 8 squared plus 0 squared. So we just have square root 1 8 squared, which is 1 64th, but you can cancel the square and the square root and get 1 8th. Why is it 1 8th? Well, that's how far we went over, 1 8th. We didn't go up at all, so you can do this visually. All right, last up, our angle. Now, I can't draw the angle on here because the angle is pointing directly to the right. So this angle doesn't actually rotate anywhere. So our angle theta would be zero because we're just pointing the same way on the positive y, uh, x axis that we would start an angle measure. So zero just means point directly to the right. And there is your radius and your theta for the last question.